Hey everybody, I just want to jump on. I know my hair looks a little crazy. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video of my art yesterday. That was really cool. Um, I've got a lot to talk about and I kind of feel like I may have to blend a lot in. So I'm going to talk really fast because it's a lot. I have recently been um, reading a lot of Zechariah Sitchin. Uh, I highly recommend if you have questions of the origins of the universe, where we came from, uh, the myths, the stories of how the pyramids were put around the earth and all the stone circles and who did it and why. Uh, the short story is uh, the planet of Nibiru, which is the 12th planet in our system, comes around every 3,600 years. They have some highly advanced beings on it and they were called the Anunnaki, uh, named after their king Anu. Uh, they came down here uh, 450,000 years ago and needed our gold to fix their atmosphere so they started mining in south america south africa to get our gold to send it back home to nubu and help their their climate so they destroyed their planet they needed to fix it and used our uh gold veins um they had to create workers because the anunnaki got really tired of doing the hard labor so uh homo sapiens were uh genetically engineered from the uh upright furry men ape men that were around in africa at the time uh enki said hey those would be really good um creatures to do this experiment on and so his sister was a master geneticist she spliced the genes and if you hear anything about how our genes were spliced uh, over 200,000 years ago, and they don't know how, who did it, or why it was the Anunnaki to create us so we would do the gold mine work. Well, Anki fell in love with us, thought we were awesome. He gave us way more power than uh, his brother Enlil was happy with. So Enlil wanted to flood the planet to get rid of us because he thought we were parasites because we kept making more babies and he was losing control. And then they started mating with us, making a whole new hybrid of Homo sapiens sapiens. Uh, which turns out to be actually our lineage. So we're part Anunnaki. And so uh, if you go into the Sumerian information, the Sumerians were highly advanced culture that just went plop down all of a sudden. High civilization in the middle of primitive man. Nobody knows how it happened or why because they don't want to admit the fact that these advanced high frequency uh, uh, culture came from another planet to, uh, you know, come onto earth and have some fun they got real dizzy because they're not used to our, our earth, earth moon cycles theirs are a lot slower so they they had to adjust their their um, bodies to us and they were the giants um, that you find the bones and all this truth's coming out now with all the archaeological digs a lot of it's being kept under wraps because the mainstream media is not comfortable with this storyline um, it kind of disrupts re religion too because if you read in Genesis, uh, man was created in our image, that would be the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki are all throughout the Bible. Many, many stories. And Lil destroying Sodom and Gomorrah. He, 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 they did the flood. They're the ones. Anki's the one that told Noah to build the boat because he wanted to keep us around. Uh, which turned out to be a good idea because after the flood, everything was destroyed and they needed workers. So here we were put back to work. But um, I, we're way bigger than that. We have way more power than we know. And we're just now uh, understanding how strong the consciousness is and how as a Earth planet that we're transcending this, going into the five dimensions. We've been 3D for a long time. And we're coming out of that in the Aquarian Age. And here we are uh, faced with uh, total extinction if we don't change our way. So that's why I get on here and talk to you guys because... Uh, being kind, meditating on peace and love. Um, there's also a CE5 app you can get if you want to contact extra, extraterrestrials. They are available to us. However, our government is becoming very aggressive with, aggressive with them and using energy weapons to shoot them down. Ever since Roswell, we've been reverse engineering their craft. We have our own fleet now. The next, uh, they're going to make an invasion with energy weapons and they're going to say it's the ets and it's not it's our government um, that's some top secret information that i'm sharing from an interview if you go to gaia and you look at the uh, cosmic disclosure program with stephen greer and billy carson i'm getting a lot of information from there there's so much you need to know um, but i'm making a quick video right now so that people understand that 
um, these extraterrestrials are so highly advanced or millions of years ahead of us, they could wipe us out at any time. They've had, they've been around a long, long time. They've been watching us. We're like their pet children. Uh, they want us to succeed. They want us to join the peaceful galactic council. Uh, we are not there yet. We're not even a level one civilization because we keep killing each other and starting wars and the the evil cabal that has reverse engineered all this crap and it's uh, making all the black budgets under darpa and um creating these um advanced pieces of equipment that are being uh, area 51 there's a lot of these underground uh top secret facilities all around um that our government is completely out of control um and it, they don't even tell the president people in congress don't know this is this is what they kill people over this information that I'm telling you right now. So I'm a little nervous putting it out there, but uh, these, this is true. Marilyn Monroe, JFK, they all died because they were going to go public with the UFOs and they wanted to keep it under wraps because they've been reverse engineering quickly so they can create this invasion scenario, which they're going to have their craft in the air with energy weapons to start fires and do whatever. You know, they're already doing it all over the planet anyway. A lot of the fires are from these energy weapons. Um, they are trying to depopulate uh, the planet. Uh, we have 8 billion. That's way too many for them to control. So uh, I believe what's happening right now, and, and, and I'm trying to put out the positive, peaceful energy. Believe me, I'm just telling you what I'm afraid is going to happen. They're going to create World War III. And in the middle of trying to fight China and Russia and everything's going to be going crazy, they're going to create this invasion scenario. I mean, it could be happening. I don't know. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong, everybody. I'm not crazy. I'm listening to a lot of really cool people that are in the know. Stephen Greer has like years of experience with all this background information about what's really going on. And he's been in contact with ETs. I'm sure he's telling them that these crazy uh, psychopaths that are running our country are going to drive us into a uh, bad scenario. And there's, you know, as little people walking around, we really, uh, you know, what do you do? I feel a little bit intimidated by the whole thing, to tell you the truth. I mean, personally, I can do my meditation. I can reach out to these other uh, peaceful, uh, uh, high frequency beings that are trying to bring us into the next transition right now. Why everything's so chaotic is because we have to make a decision. Are we going to go peaceful? Are we going to use all the technology they've learned, which is free energy, which they've had since 1956. They've discovered free energy. They had, uh, anti-gravity, uh, things they have highly advanced technology but they're keeping it all under wraps and a secret from us so that they can do whatever they want and appear stronger and appear like extraterrestrials that want to kill us all and what are they doing in the movies what are they doing on the news oh we got to be afraid afraid of the extraterrestrials guess what they're setting us up for an invasion don't be stupid. Don't be gullible. If the if the highly advanced cultures wanted us dead, they, we would have been dead a long time ago. They don't want us dead. They want us to advance our consciousness down here so that we can join the Galactic Council and be a, a, a level one conscious society. We can't even make it to level one because these psychopath cabals that have all the money, the black budgets in DARPA, in our government, are suppressing the technology and using it to destroy us because they want to curb the population. I mean... Freaky stuff, guys. Like, I'm kind of freaked out by it all. I wanted to tell you, because I don't know if you know our origin story of the Anunnaki and how we have become this very aggressive ape species that wants to just destroy anybody that comes into our atmosphere. We've been shooting down UFOs with our energy weapons for years, reverse engineering their craft. You know, that our country is the one doing it all. All the rest of the countries are like, okay, the well, United States is the boss. You know, and it's like, oh my God, how evil can we be? So what power do we have as human beings? If all of us start uh, meditating and finding peace within ourselves and reaching out to a higher frequency being and send a help beacon, you know, and be like, we, we want to advance we are not our government. We want peace. We want to know the peaceful means. We want to know how to grow. 
So CE5, it's an app you can download on your phone. It's all about contacting extraterrestrials. It's Stephen Greer is the founder. He has a lot of information for you. You need to look him up. Uh, also read Zechariah Sitchin. He's got like 17 books. But it'll give you a nice basis for why we're in this mess. Because the Anunnaki were warring and nuking each other and fighting over eons. And we are them. So we are exactly like them. They set up our system. They gave us all the astrological, astrological signs. They gave us the 60 minutes in an hour. 60 was their 12 of everything. They were the ones that set the whole system up. So that's why you want to know where we came from. And then where we're going is the CE5, the CE5 contact so that we can become more conscious so maybe we can transcend this extinction that's coming if we don't stop killing each other we got to raise our vibration people this is dire times we're we're coming to the end of days if we don't switch it up and turn it around and so you know you're gonna get a lot of people like me out there saying "Ooh, the sky is falling well it's been falling for a long time and it's gonna come to the point where are we gonna accept what the mainstream media is shoving down our throats about ETs, about the world, about our enemies. Or are we going to believe that we are all one and we all need to get along as an earth people? And then we can move into the new five dimension earth, which will be in unity. No more polar, no more um, duality, love, hate, light, dark, blend it all. We are one people. We are earthlings. Some of us are from another system. There are other uh, ETs living amongst us. I mean, we just have to get used to it. But we got to let go of the idea of us and them. We got to stop doing that. We got to stop looking at someone that has a different color skin or a different hair or difference as bad. We have a great diversity. We're planet Earth, this, the library down here. We have all kinds of interests coming from all kinds of star systems. You know, they're very curious about us. They, they think they were a grand experiment. But we need to move ourselves forward and stop living in fear. The government wants us afraid. We're way easier to control if we're afraid, people. Do not be afraid. Just Believe in yourself. Go into yourself and put your love out. Kindness, forgiveness. I've been talking about it in all my videos. It's super important and we do it. We start doing it. Because as we all come together in a higher vibration, which is gratitude and love and forgiveness, we start to leave the matrix the Matrix wants us to be fearful, controlling, psychopath. Just think psychopath, right? We're being controlled by crazy people who don't have our best interest at heart, who want to destroy us so they can tr control us. Well, the ETs know their deal. They know what they're about. They look at them like, oh, aren't you cute little babies? You know, because we're just infants. We're, well, we're, they say that we're like teenagers, but we can't seem to manage ourselves and get this whole thing under control, you know, and so they're giving us time to figure it out, but I'm on here trying to wake you up and make you know that you are way more powerful than they will let you know. They want you to feel powerless. They want you to be afraid. They want you to go to them to, to save them. Look at all the people lining up to get the coronavirus shot. You don't think that they didn't put some kind of technology in there? Because down the road, they're going to want to control our fertility. Once they clear out the billions and get us down to a manageable amount of people, they're going to decide who has babies and who doesn't. And they're going to put a chip in you. And it's all coming, girl. Or you know what I mean? Like, but, but that's the fear, right? That's us going, oh, I don't know what's going on. And the government's going to save me and buy the mainstream media's uh, propaganda. Well, once you understand that it's not as fearful if you just understand that we're in a transition and we have a choice right now and we're going to be able to reverse all the damage we did to the earth she loves us guy is sad she wants us to advance she's tired of getting drilled in and polluted she has a consciousness all the planets do they look up the um what is it the um sound of the spheres 
where they actually uh, tape space and you can hear the different planets' tones. The whole world, the entire universe is sound and frequency. Everything's made from it, even our bodies, even our bones. Uh, it's all crystalline energy. So there's just so many exciting things to learn about how incredibly powerful we are. So we don't want to give up. We don't want to live in fear. We need to take control. We need to get informed. You need to get a subscription to Gaia. You need to stay centered, Metcon, like I do. And you know what? If you guys have somebody that I need to hear and that you have more information than me, I love getting more information. I'm constantly downloading Audible books and listening to it all day long. I'm really nerdy that way. I want to know our history, the myths, how it created us, all of that. I want it all. So if anybody has any more information that I've not hit on that would be really great for my journey, um, I would love you to leave a comment um, and let me know who to read, who to study. Um, I'm really hoping that this resonates with a lot of you. Um, you know, we don't always have to agree because everybody has their own perspective and I totally respect that. Um, this is just my uh, perspective from my readings, my studies in the last, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for months, but I have not, um, this is kind of a scary uh, broadcast for me because I, I really didn't know how I was going to break it to you about the things that I've learned because some of it's a little, you know, scary and um, upsetting. And so that's why I wanted to spin it as even though these things are, are plotting against us right now, as a whole, if, as we go into our meditation, uh, we need to transcend this fear-based reality we're living in and really anchor in that source energy knowing that it loves us and wants us to become a higher frequency being which means forgive forget let go and transcend your small existence you know what i mean so that's my message today very important i've been meaning to do it for a while i finally got the nerve to do it and I hope um, you understand what I'm talking about. If you have any questions or want to communicate with me, um, you know, I'm katiepaints.com and uh, Katie Hayes Art Gmail. You know what I mean? Like, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I really want to create a community of people that are like minded or curious seekers, you know. Um, and maybe someday we'll all meet in a field and call down a UFO together. Wouldn't that be awesome? Woo! No fear, people. They love us. Don't believe the propaganda in the movies and the media. They want you to be afraid of an invasion. It's the only thing you have to be afraid of is our government. They're the ones reverse engineering all this crap. So anyway, I love you. Mwah! Light and love. Stay in the love. Do not allow the fear. Okay? See you another time.